Hi, I'm Paul Harding, your Uber Answers Lawyer, with part three of how rideshare insurance works in New York State. In part one and two, we talked about personal insurance and coverages offered by Uber and Lyft. But I want to make sure you're protected, so today we're going to talk about where there might be a gap in your insurance coverage. Now remember, when you're driving for Uber or Lyft with the app turned on, but you haven't received a passenger request, your insurance is not nearly as robust as when you have received a request or when you're transporting passengers. Your personal insurance will not cover you during this time because you are engaged in commercial driving. While Uber and Lyft offer some coverage during this type of driving, it's not much higher, if at all, than New York State's minimum insurance requirements. You may find yourself paying out of pocket for an accident, especially if you're injured. Also, there is no collision coverage provided by Uber or Lyft during this time. Therefore, any damage to your vehicle during this time will have to be paid by you out of pocket. You will also not be eligible for your personal insurance company's emergency roadside assistance or rental car reimbursement during any commercial driving. So what type of insurance can you get to cover this gap? Well, stay tuned for the next episode of Uber Answers to learn more. And remember, if you need answers at any time, call us at 1-800-LAW-1010.